Hello booktube, um, I'm you and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you my graphic novel collection. I'm really excited because I really love graphic novels and I, I don't have that much but I, I'm proud. My first graphic novel I have is Space Dumpling by Craig Thompson and it's gorgeous. It has so, so much detail and has so many amazing artwork in it. How epic is that? Like, oh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Um, this is also the first graphic novel that I bought myself. So I, I really have a lot of love for this book. And the next one I have is The Hunger Pains by Stephen Petrucha and Rick Parker. This is a parody of The Hunger Games and it was hilarious to read. I really want to read this again. So I am, so I'm going to read this in the future definitely again. The next book I have is also a parody and this is Breaking Down by Maya Kinney Pertrucha and Stephen Pertrucha, Pertrucha and Rick Parker. So this is a parody of Twilight and the artwork is also the same as Hunger Pains and it's hilarious. I really love it. The next one, I didn't really like this one but I still have it. And that's Dead Enders Stealing the Sun by Ed Brubaker, Warren Please, and Richard Case. Um, the artwork is good. The colors are all, all the colors are a little dull, which I don't like. I like bright colors. The one I have is Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz by L. Frank Baum, Eric Chandler, and Scotty Young. This is I, I really, I really like this. This is like after Dorothy was in Oz and she goes on an adventure to another place and it's really, really, really cool. I Next graphic novel I have is Awkward by Svetlana Chmakova and I, it's, it's really plain, the, the, the colors and stuff, but I absolutely love, I love, love, loved this one so much. It's really cool. Um, it's basically about friendship and there's a really awkward girl and it's it's really cute. I really loved it. It's really cute. <laughs> the next one I have, this is actually based off of a novel. This is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Lang Langlais. I still don't know how to say her last name. I'm sorry. Adapted and illustrated by Hope Larson. Um, I'm not a big fan of the color scheme of the, this book. It's black, white, and blue, and I have really bad eyes, and I really struggle to see. So <laughs> it's one of my favorites from childhood. Um, I don't know if it counts as a graphic novel, but it does to me. And that's SpongeBob SquarePants Mermaid to Measure. Um, I don't know who wrote this, but it's really cool. It's like SpongeBob episodes in comic strips. <laughs> It's really, it's really cool. I, I'm a huge SpongeBob fan, and I, I'm happy I have this. <laughs> then the next one, next two I have. <clears throat> it's also a childhood classic. Um, so that's Brad's Trading Faces and Brad's New Kid in Town. I've had Brad's New Kid in Town since I was 11. And Trading Faces is one I got the other day at a secondhand store. I didn't even know more of these existed. So it's basically like the TV show that Bratz had in comic strips. So next one I have is Harley Quinn's Gang of Harleys by Frank Terry, Jimmy Palmiotti, and Maurice said hi fi I don't know. I adore the artwork in this graphic novel. I absolutely loved it. I really, really like the Harley comics, so I'm really glad. So then the next one is another Harley, and that is Harley Quinn Volume 1 Die Laughing, and also just Harley comics. <laughs> yeah, it's, it can't get better. It's by Amanda Connor, Jimmy Palmiotti, John Timms, and Chad Harden. And the last Harley Quinn one is Harley Quinn's Greatest Hits by multiple authors. I don't know. So it's just basically her... I think it's just like the best-selling comics in one because it's like from different eras and things and you can totally see like the change in them. 
but it's basically her greatest comics in one graphic novel. So then my last graphic novel that I have, so sad, um, is Through the Woods by Emery, Emily Carroll. So this is just a bunch of short horror stories in a graphic novel. Um, it's really dark and it's really scary, but it is really good and it, it keeps you awake at night. So if you like that kind of book, totally check this out. It was, it is really good. I'm not gonna lie, it was a really great book, but it is terrifying. Some of them, some of the short stories is terrifying. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully I will upload again soon. If not, then I'm sorry. I was probably busy. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Please thumbs up if you like this. Comment down below with your favorite. Um, graphic novel is and I will see you guys soon. Enjoy your day! Bye!